what's up you guys and welcome back to the show <laughs> i'm gonna start calling it the show now um <clears throat> so what is it wednesday i think i'm headed out to target to grab a couple things i've been using the um mom cozy breast pump but um I just noticed that oh my gosh I'm already like a mom look at me opening up the vlog talking about mom stuff <laughs> I think you know with with vlogging um, for YouTube it's just kind of like whatever space you're in is just what you're gonna naturally like talk about all the time so hopefully this doesn't annoy you guys which it seems like a lot of you guys are moms <laughs> or like parents anyway so it just kind of works out um, but what was I saying oh the mom cozy breast pump I just feel like doesn't really get the job completely done if you know what I mean like I just feel still like full not completely empty when after I use the pump so I heard a lot about the spectra I think it's the s1 pump and I saw that they have it in Target so I'm gonna go run and get that and then I'm also going to get um, some backup formula for the baby. And we also need milk to go with our coffee. So just like a couple of things. But mainly I'm really going because I really want to try out the breast pump. Um, it's more of a, like I think it's attached to the actual machine. And I heard that that has more suction power than the um cordless ones so anywho i'm gonna check it out and see if i like it better um hopefully i do because it's pretty expensive which kind of sucks but um you know you gotta do what you gotta do i'm enjoying the journey so i just want to get like something that's gonna be better and help me with production because eventually I would like to stock up a lot of breast milk to where we don't have to buy a formula but right now it just kind of works out to where I mean she gets pretty much I would say like to not over exaggerate I would say she gets about 80% breast milk to 20% formula so I'm definitely keeping up with her supply, but I don't have like a freezer stock full, you know what I mean? So, um, oh, they're building a new elementary, how cute. But, um, yeah, so I'm headed to Target and I'm kind of excited because I have not been into a store since I gave birth three weeks ago, which is today. Today makes three weeks exactly that the baby has been here which is crazy time is already just flying and I know like three weeks doesn't sound like that much but it's just like wow um so yeah so crazy but um yeah it's just so crazy I've only been out of the house like 10 minutes and I'm already just like I wonder what she's doing <laughs> but she's with her dad and all good um but yeah and I may even, since I'm out, I might just run into Home Goods really quick just to kind of see if there's some. So there's some picture frames that I've been looking for that I got six of them, but I need another set of them. Um, and they come in a three pack. So I'm still on the hunt for those. When my mom came in town, she ended up finding them for me. And, um,. But they only had two packs so i just need one more pack and it's gonna complete the gallery wall that look that i'm trying to go for but uh yeah so anywho that's the agenda for today but i'm really excited to be getting out of the house for a little bit and i feel like it's just the right amount of time because i don't want to be gone forever obviously away from my baby but you know a little quick target run never hurt anybody and it'll be fun the weather is so ugly today so that's also a reason why i'm ready to get back in the house because i feel like it's gonna pour down rain it's already drizzling now and it looks just ugly so i'm pretty sure it's gonna pour down a little bit later but it's supposed to rain for like the next few days which ugh, 
I hate. So not my vibe. You know, I am a summer baby through and through and I need the sun to feel energized and productive and all the things. It's so crazy because, you know, as new parents, it's like, man, you're so tired, but you have no choice but to just get up and get a move on the day. Like this morning when I woke up, I was just like, man, I am exhausted. But you know, what do you do? You have this little person depending on you to, you know, be good. And it just kind of gives you like a burst of energies. But it's just so crazy. Like being a mom now, you really just understand what people are going through and like friends and family and even strangers. Like, like I'm looking now and this lady is walking with her three kids. I cannot even imagine. But uh, yeah. It's just crazy how now it's totally relatable to, uh, you know, just see what people are going through. I said I wasn't decorating this year, but seeing all these pumpkins are definitely kind of making me rethink that decision. Uh, the fall colors are just warming my soul. When you pull up with a new I know. So this is the one I was looking at and of course it's freaking sold out. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Look at that price, crazy, oh my gosh. Okay, quick little Target haul because I also wanna show you the pictures that I was talking about. I ended up going to um, CVS and printing off some pictures for the gallery wall that I was telling you guys about. Um, we used to have a gallery wall that we did through Mixed Tiles, which is a company where pretty much you like print them off and they send it to you framed and everything online. But the pictures were like super small and I was kind of over the gallery um, theme in our last apartment. Um, so anyway, I ended up wanting to do another one, but I wanted bigger frames. So um, we got those from Home Goods, and I'll show you in just a second. Um, but these are the pictures that I printed and they're so cute. So I'm going to frame them. And then I ended up getting, I always see people have like cute little pictures in their kitchen area and I always wanted to do it, but I wanted to do it with a picture that I did myself. So I'll include a picture of like what I'm talking about, the one that I just saw in Target. But I ended up getting one and printing off my own picture. So it can just be personalized. Um, but this is the frame that I got from Target. And it's kind of like that gold, rusty uh, color. I think it'll be cute in the kitchen. And I'm either going to use this picture, which is like from a pepper market that we went to in Italy. Or this picture from a flea market that I took so I think I might go with this one I like it because it's a little bit more busy um but I don't know I printed off both of them just to maybe I can switch it up if I get tired of looking at one or whatever but we took these ourselves and so I thought that was a cute personal touch and then for the pictures that I printed off for the gallery wall we've got my cute little niece Bailey here um and then here's Ocean with Brandon's mom, her grandma. And then this is from when we took our moms to Hawaii. So this is us on a mountaintop. Cute, cute. This is Brandon, me, and all of my siblings, and my sister's husband here. So that that would be cute. And then, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm missing one. Where is it? Ah, please don't tell me. Oh my God, you're kidding me. I am missing one. I had one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I forgot to print off the one with Ocean by herself. 
so annoying okay so i'm gonna have to go back um oh my god that's so annoying i edited the picture and everything and forgot to put it in here okay that's done okay and then here's brandon and i on a yacht in france so i just thought it would be cute like to switch it up a little bit i can't believe i forgot my baby's picture i'm so annoyed but anyway she's here on this picture with her grandma oh i'm so mad because there's only one two three four five so one frame is going to be empty great okay that's so annoying i'm already a bad mom uh okay well so that's that for the pictures and from target i just ended up getting her formula that we use which is the infamil gentle ease um, I told you guys I didn't have the breast pump, so I couldn't get that, but I'm still going to order it on Amazon. I'm on a banana kick lately, so I got some bananas. Um, and then I got some command strips because I think that I'm going to hang the picture in the kitchen with these. So I needed some of these, and I like these because you don't have to put a hole in the wall because the backsplash is all tile. So I needed this. And I just grabbed us some milk. We like this 2% one by Horizon. And then these mozzarella sticks looked so good. So I just got a case of these for us to snack on. But that's it. I'm gonna put up the pictures right now. I'm so excited. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after. I went to go and get the other picture that I forgot to print off. So, um, here's the start of the gallery wall. I'm still looking for three more frames because I want to do nine total, but this is all we have right now. Um, so we got my little niece, Bailey. And then we've got a family picture of my, sis my siblings and Brandon um, at our baby shower. And then we got Brandon and Ocean. As you can see, she's already got personality. Look at this picture. I love this picture so much. It's so cute. She's like trying to eat his face. Um, so that one. And then this is Brandon and I. We were on a yacht in France. This is Ocean and her grandma. That's Brandon's mom. And then this is our family photo with Brandon and our moms in Hawaii. So I love it so much. It has so many memories already. I love it. So cute. So that's it for right now. And then I hung the picture that I was talking about um, here over the stove. And I just thought it was such a cute, warm element to add. And it's personalized because obviously we took the photo. So yeah, I love it. It came out so cute. So I ended up finding, scoring the um, Spectra One breast pump from Target. I guess they put it in stock overnight, <laughs> but um, I'm going to sterilize this and get it going. Hopefully I get some good results out of it. But yeah, um, these were the ones that I've been using the um, portable. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of them, but they're portable. They're not connected to the cord, but I hear that the cord has a better suction and produces helps you um, produce simulate more milk. So. We're gonna test this baby out today. I'm kind of excited. They just finished doing our fire pit. Um, if y'all know from a previous vlog, we had told y'all that we had issues with our fire pit because basically what was happening was it was leaking and then I guess there was some type of chemical that was causing it to dis uh, causing discoloration on it. So um, in an effort of goodwill, basically what they did was they came out and did our the wall that you see, the back wall and then the floor with the same material that they did our coping with. Mm -hmm. So it's the same tile. It looks better. Yeah, it looks better. Um, and so what that's gonna do is that's gonna stop, well, the leaking was already fixed, but also this is gonna stop discoloration like when it rains and stuff, it'll just be water. And so um, it looks a lot better than what it did. And we even got a new drain, as you can see down there. I don't know if you may be able to see it, but it's basically like three slits in it versus what we had. So this was kind of like the final piece of the puzzle, man, of, of our yard. 
<laughs> I know. Goodness. Yes. Goodness. Yeah, and I know y'all been y'all been rocking with us and hearing about our horror stories about this yard for the past like probably six or seven months, but <laughs> literally since like January probably. Yeah. But um, this was the final piece that needed to be done. So we're good now. Um, the, as you can see, the gazebo was closed because it rained last week, but the we good weather is coming. So we're going to open that back up. And yeah, guys. I cannot wait to be clear to get back in the pool. Like, I miss swimming. How long, how long did they say it's going to take? Um, I think they said eight weeks. Eight weeks. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. So eight weeks before Des can get back in the pool. So I've been kind of getting in the pool for the both of us, having a little bit of fun for the both of us. And of course, you know, um, yeah, so this is the final the touch. So good, yeah, the grass looks good. Um, like just to be able to go from like no grass to what we have today, um, it's looking good. They cut, they actually just cut the grass today, so. We had them bag up the old grass because apparently it messes up the growth of the grass. So you stay keep it on there. So we just had them bag that up. But yeah, I'm excited. You excited about everything? I am. I'm so glad finally finished. Not have any contractors at our home anymore. I'm over it. Yes, that is the number one thing. Like, yeah, we are. We're finally done with contractors. So that is. Oh man. Oh gosh. I can't believe it. We're here. We're fine. Well, we're finally here after like all these months, but um, it's just been a journey. And hopefully with the last little bit of summer that we have left. Well, it's Texas. So, I mean, it's going to stay hot for a while, but we can actually just sit back and enjoy everything that we've accomplished and done with the yard and everything. And so um, that's kind of just going to be um, the, the move going forward and going into the winter just kind of enjoying our backyard and swimming more and being in our fire pit and stuff like that so i know i look so crazy right now because i just got my hair taken down um and it was so creepy because i found a place online and it looked like it was a like standing salon and it ended up being inside of an apartment that they turned into a salon and i just have such a bad experience with that so I was so nervous the whole time. It was so frustrating because I'm like, there should be a way to specify if you're not in an actual um, like freestanding business suite or something. Like the address literally said suite number 330, but it was actually the apartment number. And I'm pretty sure that's like illegal in Texas. I don't know, but that's not my concern. It's just kind of frustrating that you kind of get like suckered into um going somewhere like that but anyway got my hair taken down because i just want to make sure that i treat it and take care of it and stuff like that because even though braids are supposed to be like protective styles when i have braids i literally am so bad about it like i don't like sometimes I, I try to i do try my best like i do take vitamins so at least i do that but like as far as washing i don't ever really do i'll probably wash my braids maybe one time if i like get in the pool or something like that well i wash it every time i get in the pool but i just haven't been in obviously because i just had the baby i need to wash my hair bad um but what i was seeing before the camera cut off i think was um what was I saying? Oh, oh, when my hair is in a protective style, like I don't know why, but I just get like super lazy with my hair and um, I don't do anything to keep it, um, you know, protected actually. I just rely on the braids, put it in a bun and call it a day. Thankfully, it still grows my hair um, really good. So, but anyway, just got back in and I got a couple of packages. Um, the first one is for Pom Pom, of course. I ordered her like these little, um, they're kind of like, I'll include like a picture right here, but they're like satin um, little sleeves for her um, sheets in the bed. 
and basically it just is gonna prevent um you know how babies get like those bald spots from laying on the back of their head so much it's supposed to help prevent that um so we'll see if it works or not but i bought that for her swing and for her um bassinet because she uses um, those two things the most and then i saw that on silky tots they had a satin um head support for the car seat and so i got this in black because <clears throat> her car seat is black so i got oh it's good because it comes with like a little small infant one and then a bigger one for um when she gets bigger but it's all satin and it's just supposed to like help prevent the rubbing off of the hair um so yeah i thought it was a good buy and it feels so good and soft so i'm gonna wash this and add this to her stroller and then we ordered a huge pack of placards because we love these things i use these things every single day and um so we just gotta re-up on those and then i was on amazon and I saw this cute little denim top because if you don't know, like I'm obsessed with denim. If it comes in denim, I'm literally gonna get it. And it just is what it is. But I saw this cute denim top and I thought this would be so cute. Um, and it has like, you tie it here and then tie it here. How cute is that? I hope it fits good. Actually, let me try it on. It was like weird sizing. I think I ended up getting an extra large because when you go to the size chart, um yeah see i'm glad i did because that's perfect um but yeah that's cute oh that is so cute so 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 cute could wear it with like some jeans or a um skirt anything i mean it's just so cute it looks weird with this shirt underneath but you get the vibe this actually was in my zara order the other day but it didn't come in time so they just shipped this separately and it's just a cute like navy sweater um does it unbutton or is it a slip on i'm not sure it looks oh it is a slip on hmm that's weird but anyway when um fall comes i always just get super into like knitted and crochet things and I just thought it'd be cute. So I'm gonna slip on and still look really cute put together. And like I said, I'm into like jewel tones. I don't know if it's maybe a jewel tone. I don't know, but it kind of puts me in the vibe of that for some reason. I notice when I start gravitating to like greens and maroons, I end up also like wanting navy things. My next thing that I really want to buy is a navy bag. I do not have a navy bag. I do have a ton of denim because I love denim. And so I have a lot of like denim purses, but I don't have like a navy, you know? And I feel like I really want one this season. I don't know if I want it bad enough to like invest in it or if I want to find like a cute one from Amazon or Zara or I don't know. But I feel like maybe I should invest in it that way because I feel like navy is like a staple, you know? It's not like a red where you really just like either you wear a lot of red or you don't which is me i don't really wear a lot of red but i feel like navy is kind of like the same thing as like denim so since i wear a lot of denim then obviously that means i could wear a lot of navy so i don't know i might try to invest in a navy bag i just came from getting my hair taken down and as soon as i walked in me and brandon swapped the baby and I, he went to the gym and it's just crazy like we are literally just rocking this thing y'all it's just it's just wild because i feel like the toughest thing that we've done in our marriage slash relationship has been having a baby so far and really it's only been like the night time because don't get me wrong like nights are tough because Baby is still trying to figure things out. We're still, we're, still, we're still trying to figure things out with her as far as like her eating and sleeping and you know, all those things. And in the night, it's like really challenging because you know, sometimes she just wants to be up staring at you and it's just the cutest thing ever. But oh, 
But um, we were just talking how like, man, this is like the most challenge that we've dealt with in our marriage. And for some reason, like it just still feels good. It still feels like we transition to it well, we're accommodating well, we're already like getting a different lifestyle down. Like just how we, like he literally told me today, cause really I just woke up and I was just gonna be like on the couch today, just chilling and relaxing. But he was like, you know, I just want you to go somewhere, get out of the house for a couple of hours, do something. And I was gonna go get like a facial and um, a massage, but the lady that I like to do my facials wasn't there today. So I was like, what can I do? And I was like, oh my gosh, my hair needs to be taken down. So I don't know, it was just crazy how we just did that today and it just felt natural. You know, it, it just hasn't, even though this has been the most challenging, um, what do you call it? Like challenging time for us. It's still like, we're just, rocking it like we were just made to do it so i don't know it's just crazy because you know a lot of people have like really tough struggles in the beginning of their relationships and marriages and stuff but you guys know brandon and i got together um later in life i said that to say we had things kind of like you know figured out like we were um uh stable on our own financially um you know uh I don't know, like um, faith wise, financial wise, um, living arrangements, like we had our cars, we had our own places, you know? So it's like, we, did, we didn't have like that struggle, you know, like when young people get together, um, you know, you kind of have like that struggle time and like the first couple of years are like really hard in the marriage and stuff like that, but we haven't really experienced that and unfortunately but fortunately for us covid happened and we really like had to figure out life and like spend a lot of time together and work together and start a business together so it's kind of like we got together and we immediately like just entered a time where we spent a lot of time to get to know each other like really 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 get to know each other we didn't have to spend we didn't spend like you know, eight to 10 hours in an office and then come home and only have a couple of hours before bedtime to figure out each other and learn each other. We literally, from the early part of our relationship, spent 24 seven together, you know? So I don't know, this probably is like all over the place and doesn't make sense, but in my mind it does for some reason. Brandon starts his paternity leave today actually so that's exciting now we're really gonna have to like figure out again like how to be productive and what the next month or so is gonna look like for us and yeah we've been really busy with brand deals and i'm steady looking at the baby but we've been really busy like campaign brand deal wise which is a blessing definitely not um you know, complaining about that, but <clears throat> you know, just trying to balance taking the time for me and baby and family and also trying to keep up with work. It's been a great challenge and it's been good because you know, when we were, when I was pregnant, like we were still getting deals and stuff in um, like sponsorships and stuff like that. But when you're pregnant, like you are pretty much a liability. So if you notice, like things were on the slower end the last few, um, well, nine or 10 months. Um, but yeah, cause you're kind of like pretty much a liability for a lot of companies to work with. So we didn't do very much, but now it's like, as soon as I drop the baby, it's go time. Like the calendar is lined up. Um, so we're thankful for that. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just, different times you know and i just love documenting this because it's just gonna be so crazy to look back at the progression of things and the way that things were during certain times it's just i don't know it's just crazy so it's a blessing but we've definitely got some work to do and some things to keep up with i don't know what made me buy something so simple from the grocery store that i could have just 
made but these are so good y'all and only 170 calories i don't even know why i said that because i don't even pay attention to that stuff but it's on the box really big so i guess it's a good number i don't know but y'all these are so freaking good and addictive oh my gosh um yeah i got these from kroger's and oh, i'm just so addicted to them literally it was a six pack and i'm already <laughs> done with the box and we've only had them for a few days it always freaks me out when i comb out my hair after braids because it looks like you just you lose so much look at all this hair that's crazy it looks like a lot but i guess in the grand scheme of things it's not really but I'm about to get this taken care of while the baby's still asleep because I really want to catch her next next feeding. Um, but, yeah, this is about to be a task. My hair, this is the longest my hair has been in, like, decades. I cut my hair into a pixie cut in high school, and it's pretty much been bobbling or shorter ever since. So, the fact that it's growing out past bobbling, and I mean bobbling about, like, right here is crazy but i was actually looking and i'm pretty sure that girl cut some of my hair i'm so irritated because i'm pretty sure she did because it looks like really blunt in some areas but um i just went to like an african braiding shop and they um took my hair out because i just did not have the strength to get it done but um yeah so i'm about to get that done and yeah we'll see what i'm gonna do with it i really just kind of want to do something like super low maintenance so i might just blow it out and put it in a bun just to like give it some rest from all the manipulation like i said i really just am trying to prevent postpartum hair loss so i feel like the less heat and manipulation that i do the better because it looks really good and thick and healthy and long right now. So hopefully I can keep this up. But <laughs> y'all let me get off this camera because I'm looking at I'm headed for nothing, no turn of the sun to from nothing. Made it through property, on our minority, you never start. Hop on the jet on my property and fly away. Fly, fly, fly away. I've already been out in the backyard and kind of been cleaning up. We had this little ant pile in the backyard, so I had to like get some ant killer and kill them ants. Cause one thing, guys, I cannot stand in my backyard is fire ants, and that's what we have here in Texas: fire ants. These ain't them ants that I'm used to from up north where they'll just crawl on you and everything will be good. No, these are ants where if they crawl on you, they bite you. They're fire ants, your skin gonna swell up, you're gonna burn, could lead into an infection. I mean, it's all type of stuff in these ants out here. So, I had to get out there and kill them. And then, um, unfortunately guys, it's starting to get to cricket season again, which is something we cannot stand. But you know what, so far, um, it hasn't been as many crickets as it was last year. And so I don't know if it's because it's just the beginning or what, but um, we're seeing less than what we saw last year. So we, we're hoping that it really stays that way because yeah, your boy is not filling them. And sweeping the mugs up every day and blowing them with the air thing, tired, um, that's just old news. So I'm hoping that we don't have the outbreak that we did last year, um, which would be dope. Um, so yeah i went out in the backyard i did that we opened up the gazebo and kind of cleaned up around that a little bit swept the area and stuff so um so we're about to clean up and then i have to go wash and vacuum out both our cars and then we got some clothes to fold uh, from laundry that we did during the week so yeah it's pretty much just like a maintenance type of day for us um and so we're gonna get into it um y'all the nfl kicked back off on thursday and it didn't disappoint with the Chiefs and the Ravens. Heck of a game. Saw Green Bay take on Philly last night. Then we got college, we got NFL tomorrow. My Bears starting the season off tomorrow. So hopefully Caleb Williams can kind of do his things. We got weapons now, right? So 
hopefully we got an offense that can put up points. I just want us to put up points, you know what I'm saying? Even if our defense is just like middle tier, I just want us to put up points, man. And I feel like we got the offense to do that. So we'll see how the season goes. But yeah, um, Ocean's good. She's napping right now in her swing. And uh, we just fed her uh, a bottle. And so now we're gonna, hopefully she takes a nap so we can actually like do some cleaning around the house and stuff and then that's about it. That's what our Saturday is looking like. So hope y'all having a good Saturday so far and uh, we'll see y'all soon. Y'all, I have been intentionally making sure that I stay on top of like my morning routine as much as I can. Like obviously it doesn't get made as soon as I wake up now, um, but I still make it up every single day. Um, so I'm really proud of myself and it just makes me feel like put together and it keeps that little bit of like normalcy in life plus <laughs> you know if you know you know babies spit up quite a bit so i have to change her sheets every couple of days anyway so it just kind of you know it just i don't know it just feels good and it feels clean to come in here and refreshing to see a made bed i am looking crazy this morning i flat ironed my hair and just wrapped it and put the bonnet on because I just have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to try to figure it out later. Maybe I'll put like some rollers in it or something like that. But I just have no idea what to do with this length of hair. I had a taste for some meat lover spaghetti. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just browning my, um, this is Zumo sausage. The best sausage ever that ever existed. Um, obviously some ground beef. Then I'm going to put some of these, um, homestyle meatballs in I got these from Kroger's they're really good and then I ordered some um these mozzarella cheese sticks and they look so good and I've been wanting to try them so I'm gonna try these put them in the air fryer and then then we also have some garlic toast that I'm gonna put in there so finally got my hair situated semi I'm kind of getting that feeling like I want to cut it low key I don't know why I just can't let it grow I don't know but we'll see I'm gonna give it some time I'm not gonna make any like impulse decisions oh and you know what I was looking at the comments on one of our videos that we posted and um obviously you know we don't Wait, take up. real quick huh? do not cut y'all please tell her not to <laughs> cut her hair I overheard her saying that she does not need to cut it her hair looks amazing. It's long. It's I mean, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it's all, pretty, it looks pretty good. I'm all right. I did was I told her that it may just need to be like laid. Yeah. If that makes any sense. But her hair like is professionally. Yeah, yeah, but it's gorgeous. Thanks, babe. Like you don't need to cut this. I need a dye too. I need like a good trim and uh, um, y'all, I'm just so scissor happy Hold all up. the time. I don't know. Hold up, but you want to tell them what we found earlier today? Yeah, we found like two gray hairs. Bro, she has two gray hairs. That's mommyhood for you. <laughs> but speaking of mommyhood, that's what I was gonna say. We were I had posted the video of I don't know if you checked the comments, but mm -hmm. uh, well, one of the comments said like people, somebody was like going crazy on us for not showing the baby uh, yet. Wait, when was that coming? I didn't see that one. Yeah, there was a couple. Really? Yeah. Um, but I just kind of wanted to like address it because this was part of the reason why I had so many reservations about like sharing the registry and like opening up about certain things because I didn't want there to be people that felt like obligated to do something for us or for the baby in return that we would like speed up our process of doing stuff aka like showing the baby hmm. so our baby is now three and a half weeks old should be four weeks on wednesday yeah crazy crazy yeah 
but it's like you know most of you guys know and normally like we don't address like negativity because this channel is built on love and laughter and for all those that get it get it and they know us and mm -hmm. i can definitely take the jokes like don't get me wrong um because some people have like jokingly said things about it and that's fun like we can laugh and talk about it but like some people were like going in on us about like not showing the baby but my thing is like our family hasn't even met the baby yet like my sisters brandon's family like his grandmother like our family has legit not even met our little newborn baby you know you have to wait like eight weeks for her to get her shots and stuff the like shots that. the immune system to build up yeah so yeah. it's like and even actually i think eight weeks is on the light end i think it's more like two to three months actually Especially for public places, for her to go in public places. But, yeah, so yeah. it's like, we just wanted to, number one, enjoy this time. Because we did not make a baby for content. We did not make a baby to rush and, like, throw her on the camera. internet and throw her on camera. Like, we literally just met her, number one. Number two, our family has not even met her. You guys know we live in Dallas alone and you know obviously for her immune system to build up we can't have you know visitors and stuff like that um so yeah it's just kind of like our way of taking our time and not feeling rushed and then just like being respectful to our family members that haven't even gotten a chance to meet her you know well you know what? i'll tell you what and I'll, i didn't even know you were gonna talk about this but i'll piggyback off of what she's saying so um in addition to that, it's one of those things where, and let me preface by saying this again, we don't knock anybody that has their child on, on social media. We're not doing that at all. But at the same time, when we had Ocean, it was one of those things where we had a plan to really spend time with her, get to know her, be present with her. As you know, that's why we haven't really even been posting on like IG or anything like that because we are really taking this time to get to know her. And when we're ready, we will kind of just, you know, show glimpses of her to the world and stuff like that because we understand that you guys are supportive of us and you're invested in our journey and, you know, we're thankful for that, you know, but at the same time, we're not going to be those parents who just throws her on camera, throws her online, and it's just going to be that type of party, you know? Yeah. It's just not going to be like that. And so we know that you guys want to see her. And like I said, we're going to show her, we're going to show glimpses of her. But right now, it's just our time with her, our private time with her to really just help build her up and motivate and encourage her, even as a newborn. And just be parents and be present in her life without all the other yeah. distractions going on. You know what because I mean? Because I also feel like, you know, I get both sides yeah. of the whole, like, showing your kids online. Yeah. You know, um, also, I was going to say something really quick. I forgot. Uh, hold on. Give me one second. Oh, mom brain. Oh, this was our pregnancy journey. You know, this was our decision to share this, to enlighten other couples that, hey, we went through this, this can happen. We went through IVF. These were like real moments of our lives, but that doesn't mean that this little baby has to be subjected to be on the camera 24 seven, just because we chose to, mm -hmm. you know? But um, like I was saying also, I get both sides of it because literally, I could have taken those couple comments that I read and that could literally be my reason for saying, hey, this freaks me out and I don't want to have my kid online. So I get those parents that do choose to take that route. And this is us being like <laughs> this a little serious moment and we don't usually like have these moments, but it's just that I feel like some people really, um, like come down on people that either one choose not to share their kids or the people that do choose to share their kids because some people just as many people that are like hey don't show your kid to the world that are telling us that 
there are some people that are like, yo, you need to show, you have to, like, we supported you and da, 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 we followed you and we watched your videos. Then there are some people like, yeah, I I respect y'all for not doing it. And most of the most of the people have been that. Most of the people have been like, you know, I, I respect it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think even one person had commented that I saw um, that it's like, how dare you know, you not show her to us and we've been investing. And then there were even people responding to her in the comments talking about, well, that's their business, that's their privacy. They don't want to show her. So most of the people have been like that. But I would say to the people who have an issue with it, you just have to respect our process and yeah. be patient with us. And other people. And other people yeah. as well. Because it's that's it's 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 not fair to us. I'm just yeah. gonna keep it a thousand with you. It's not fair to us. Because now it's like you're trying to force us and put us in a position where we're gonna throw her out there, and you and know, we're not. and we're not. And <laughs> but you think that it's forcing us, and it's not. So it just makes it like this weird tension of. Yeah. And we don't know. really. And to be honest with you, it, it, here's where it becomes kind of a fine line for me because I'm always the type, and I always believe in like. I mean, respectfully, we really don't owe anybody an explanation, but. We just want to come on here and really just tell people for the people that are making those type of comments like you know you, you should chill on that because this is our plan and when we decide to do it is when we're going to do it and you don't know what's going on in our minds you don't know what's going on in our hearts as far as us and our child and so it's just kind of one of those things where you might want to just kind of fall back on that because that's yeah and then it's like yeah it's no. like because at the end of the day like you're not going to change anyone's mind yeah whether they decide to or decide not to so it's like the whole argument and i see and it's not just us like i see it all the time mm -hmm. on what actually made me come up with this conversation or came to my mind was like a friend of mine posted it as well and she was basically like hey it's the parents decision like you can't force anybody to like throw their kid and make them a social media kid mm -hmm. like you just can't do that like we literally battled this IVF process journey for two to three years so it was something that we came to terms that we wanted to share to be able to be a relational and motivational to other couples that had to experience it but in no way shape or form did that mean that as soon as my kid got popped out that I was gonna be like, oh, hey, this is my kid that still has amniotic fluid all over her face. You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's one of those things, like, but anyway, said all that to say, the jokes and the, the fun comments, like, we definitely, like, like I said earlier, this channel was built on laughter and love and jokes and comedy, but... We're not I even tripping. Like we're not have, even. Yeah, like we're, we're not, not having. Yeah. I think I think it's the main thing of like Just get out your feel, get out your feelings yeah. as far as how you think we should do or present our daughter. Yeah. That's just that's just mainly what it boils down to. When we're ready, how we're ready, when we feel like it, how we feel like it. That's when we're going to do it. And we're not doing it to like spite anything, body or anything like that. It's just we're being patient with this because, again, this is a very, very sensitive thing for us. And we just don't want we don't want to just throw. I mean, we didn't do this for content. We really yeah. did. And a lot of people or I'm, I wouldn't say a lot of people. Some people did do it for content. Maybe they want people to show that, you know, show their kids or whatever to people. And that's just how their channel is going to be built. Well, we didn't have our child for content, you yeah. know, and so. And again, that's, but this is part of a journey, right? Like, so two years ago on this, on this channel, we wouldn't even be having this type of conversation. Yeah. So it's like at this moment right now, this is our journey. This is where we are. This is how we feel today. Hey, maybe in six months. We're just going to open up the vlog with, hey, look at my kid. This is my content for today. Stare at her for 15 minutes. And then we're going to turn the camera <laughs> off. And that's it. Minutes. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's just that it, that's just how, like, I think sometimes people forget that um, people that are on camera are real people. Yep. And they really have to process emotions when they do, how they do, at the time that they do. You know, so it's kind of like, I just feel like we have to connect here. So this is not like... This is not for us show, having... man. Like, this is not for show. This is this channel is built on authenticity. 
and this channel is built on integrity and stuff like that and love and love and stuff like that so when we do show clips and things of that nature it's authentic we're not gonna just pop her on just to be like oh look at ocean here she is uh eating some crackers look guys like that's not it's not gonna be that type of situation it's gonna be authenticity involved yeah. which means it's gonna be real you know when we when we put on that camera it's gonna be real so again we appreciate y'all support and we thank y'all for rocking with us throughout this journey and stuff and you just got to be patient with us and just kind of chill and relax and when we're ready to you know experience I want to say expose her because that sounds like a bad word. But at the end of the day, it is. It is exposure because you well, once once you this is kind of how I feel. It's like once you go there, there's no turning back. Like once it's out there, you can never like retrieve that. But you know what I'm saying? True. I I totally understand. But we can also dictate true. the level of exposure. exposure. True. And that's what a lot of a lot of people they just go out there, they throw it out there, and it's like okay, this is it now. This is yeah. the end all be all. Yeah. For us, it's not going to be like that. We're going to dictate everything that happens because, again, that's the way our channel was built. So, And that's our responsibility as the parents. Yep. You know, there's still things that we have to dictate and control with us being so, so, um, like, public. You know what I mean? So, anyway, we said all that to say. It's all love. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. You yeah. already know that. Yeah, we um, appreciate y'all rocking with us. It's been yeah, y'all been rocking it's with been us. It's been a journey. Yeah, and yeah. we do appreciate it. And it's yeah. just like we also have couples that we follow and we look up to, and we still, at the end of the day, aren't gonna be like, hey, you didn't show us your kid today, or you haven't showed us your kid yet. It's like that's just kind of like, yeah. it's, it just doesn't make sense. It's like you know, at the end of the day, we support who we support, but nobody's obligated to do anything back when you support someone and this goes for like real life family and friends at least me i don't ever do it and be like oh well you need to give it back to me it's like if i'm supporting you that's what i chose to do it's out there if you choose not to support me then i see what it is i see how it is that's fine and but you, i did it with my heart yeah and you know when you're a true when you're a true supporter actually you know what we just did a podcast episode on support which it's crazy but when you truly support someone you support what they give you mm, yeah. and you're thankful and grateful for what they give you because at the end of the day you know what it took and you know the journey that they're on and you support whatever it is that's going on in their lives and how they're doing it that's what a true supporter is a yeah. supporter isn't well i'm gonna watch you but i expect this in return yeah well, i need you to give no 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 you watch and you support what you see and what you get and you you're from a distance you give that support that encouragement that motivation that's what you do yeah that's a true supporter man that's like, true that's so true i can't exact i don't know how else to explain it so but anyway yeah. yeah we still love y'all we we well not that we still love we always gonna love y'all no matter we'll what always love you guys yeah. and appreciate you guys um because at the end of the day we wouldn't be here if it weren't it for, for you guys yep. like we 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 go hard for y'all because y'all have been rocking with us that's just how it is we appreciate that like forever and we understand we understand what it is we understand that without y'all we wouldn't be here so yeah we don't take that lightly at all we yeah. truly understand and appreciate that so absolutely but just as hard as y'all go for us you know we 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 put in a lot of hours and stuff and we go hard right back for y'all that goes for any creator like if you love some creator we do the same thing like you support what they do because you guys this stuff is not easy and mm -hmm. it takes a lot mm -hmm. of time a lot of hours yeah y'all see y'all see an edited video and you're like oh they just they just film that's what their job is uh no. <laughs> yeah like it's so much more and granted and listen I feel like I have every right to be able to say that because I have done everything from working in a bank to yeah. working at a fast food joint. Yeah. I have worked in human resources. I have recruited. I have scrubbed toilets. I've worked at a gas station. I have. What, you scrubbed toilets? I have scrubbed toilets. Yeah, at the gas you? station. You? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's like, and I will say, this is definitely not just oh this is the easiest job i've ever done like it's definitely like 
around the clock work at least like when i worked at the bank like i can clock out shut it down and it's done i did my eight hours and i'm done yeah but with this it's like a constant on your mind you have to continue to think of ways to be creative ways to edit different things to uh, incorporate in yeah, it's we do just it all. so many things we do it all we do it all we yeah. do our own editing we do our own posting we create the content we have a management team yes we have a management team like like does sources. our deals and yeah. stuff but i'm saying from an editing standpoint yeah we do all of that do everything so this ain't just no we sit at home and just twiddle our fingers yeah and i still work you know so it's yeah. i mean it is what it is you know so but it's that. it's hustling yeah it's like we're all i think also you know you see certain things and you think oh it's easy for them they have da 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 well we literally grinded to get the things that we have earned. Yeah. You know, there was days we would put in our eight to 10 hours and still get off film for three to four hours and then edit for five to six hours because we were learning. And then it's after midnight by this time and you got to get up and, you know, it's just yeah, like, we've definitely it. done the things it took to get to where we are. And we're so grateful and thankful for that. And we love God and appreciate God for that. And appreciate you guys for seeing the vision and rocking with us, coming for the pranks, staying for the family. You know, it's just, you know. So, anyway, we're off of our soapbox. No, <laughs> I'm think. still on my soapbox. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It was kind of good to have like that. I didn't even know you were going to talk about that. Like, I didn't, I didn't know I literally you came in here to talk about her hair, and then she was like, oh, by the way, I'm like, oh, okay, well, shoot, let's get it then. <laughs> well, I don't know. It just kind of like came on my mind when I was. I don't know, no, but I feel good. like it was necessary because I feel like, you know, a little bit of like relief because I yeah. I just want there to be an expectation set. And I know we've never like come on camera and been like, oh, hey, as soon as she has the baby, we're going to be popping her on camera. But we shouldn't even have to do that. I know, but I Again, think some people feel that way. Right. That's why that's going back to what I was saying we uh, about not owing an explanation. But for the people that do have that expectation of us y'all should just kind of fall back a little bit yeah. because that's just not what it's going to be right now. Yeah. Um, as we're still settling in and getting time with her and just really getting to know her, her and stuff. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's just... only been three and a half weeks, you guys. Like, yeah. literally. And like I said, bro, our family hasn't even gotten us late. The only person that's really met her physically is my mom and her mom because they, they came up to be Help with her. Us yeah. with the baby. But literally, that's it. Yeah. Like, Nobody has beat you guys to it. We love you guys just like you're our family too. But mm -hmm. respectfully, I feel like our family is owed that much. You know what I mean? Like we put everything else online for you guys first before they even get the message sometimes. And so this one thing we just want to be able to introduce to our family first. You know? And we and again, we hope you understand. And if you don't, that's okay too. We're yeah. there's no hard feelings. We're not mad or anything like that. We just would prefer if, you know, you just kind of just chill out on the comments, on those type of comments. Because yeah. it's like, we want to set the expectation with you. That way, not only do we have a relief by getting it off our chest, but you also have a relief to know that, okay, here is the situation. So Yeah. And I feel like this applies from a lot of other parents that choose not to show their kids on social media, too. Okay. Yeah. Anyway... We're done rambling. <laughs> yeah. That is the end of this vlog. We love you guys so much. And we will see y'all in we'll the next We'll see y'all in the next vlog. And we out. <laughs>